October 30th, 1885, Silver Falls, Montana Territory. The Montana Silver Bloom was in full swing after the Northern Pacific Railroad reached Billings a few short years prior. Folks flocked here to make their fortune, but for the town of Silver Springs, things quickly went from boom to bust, and the town has slowly been dying ever since the mine collapsed, trapping the miners inside. Our Garu have heard rumors of ghostly happenings in and around the town, and while staying at the Purgatory Trail Saloon, as they pass through the Bitterroot Valley, surely nothing otherworldly will happen, right? Hello everyone. We're here to do the thing. We're going to play some Werewolf Wild West. Uh, I'm Rick. I'm the storyteller for tonight, uh, the main game master for Hammer of the Gods, which is where we are. So, you know, you probably know that. Uh, and I'm going to have my lovely players tell us who they are and who they're playing. So whoever wants to go first. I am Shannon, and uh, my character is Sadie Gray. I am a... A uh, volatile um, female werewolf type who is uh, just always itching for a fight and uh, yeah, uh, trying to trying to fight off the enemies. And uh, you can find me at Imagine If in most places. I am a G I N I F, and I do uh, all things to create, play, and heal. Fantastic. And you want to pick who goes next? I will uh, fling it over to Addie. Howdy. I'm Rosie. I will be playing Addie, uh, who is a traveling musician type chronicler werewolf uh, who loves all things beauty and nature and also um, a little bit of danger as well. Like you That's do. Pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see who she is during play. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think I'll pass it over to Eve. Hi, I'm Jay. You can find me online at By Neon Light. Today I will be playing a bounty hunter and a spirit tracker, Evangeline Rope Show from Nocatuches, Louisiana. And uh, she's traveling to find the next uh, big thing to hunt out there. And uh, she spends just as much time in the spirit world as she does in the physical world. All righty. And last but not least. Hi. I'm Mika. I do things. Um, I'm playing. <laughs> Look, you, you can find me over at Roll D5, R O L E D5. Um, I, I'm playing Lucky Lemon. I'm the sheriff's son. And even though this takes place in Montana, I got this ridiculous southern accent. <laughs> I mean, it's the Wild West, so it doesn't matter where you are. You, you got to pretend to be Southern, right? Those yeah, are the yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I'm a cowboy. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> we are going to pick up at the Purgatory Trail Saloon. And we kind of talked pre-stream about what everyone would be doing. Uh, and, Addie, why don't you tell us what you would be doing at the saloon? Well, given that it's the saloon, it's nighttime, I'm probably plucking on the guitar or maybe playing the fiddle a little bit, singing some doleful songs about the moon and such. <laughs> Very it's kind of weird. My style has a lot of howling in it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's country and western before yeah. that was really a thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the country. We're in the west. It works. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And what would everyone else be doing? I know uh, Eve and Addie travel together. So Eve, I imagine you're probably somewhere nearby. Yeah. If um, not actively out on a hunt, Eve pretty much just sticks near Addie. Um, I think whenever not actively occupied in um, the act of hunting or tracking or that, she kind of gets like this distant stare and like, when you speak to her, it takes her a moment to kind of pull back into the conversation. So she's probably near the piano. Um, there's some, some sort of libation and just Sounds kind of, real. yeah, kind of <laughs> spooking everyone around her. Fantastic. Uh, what about Sadie and Lucky Lemon? Uh, Lemon, 
I'm I'm at the bar uh, currently. I'm chatting with with people in uh, the. I just lost my train of thought. He's he's drinking with <laughs> with the other fellas, you know. Uh, he's getting picked on, like he's he's the sheriff's boy, but he's not especially rough and tumble. He has dreams of wandering, and everyone's like, <laughs> "Sure, Lucky, sure." I mean, with a name like Lucky Lemon, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like the runt of the family almost, but like. Despite being the runt, I've got it's it's a um he's the runt, but also an only child. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. They just knew if yeah. he had siblings, they would be larger. Yeah. Yeah. Larger. yeah. But is is like everyone well over six foot and he's like six one, so he's not really that small, or is he actually Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Everyone else is like six six minimum. <laughs> well, Eve is short. Eve is criminally short, so a short queen, if you will. Mm -hmm. sure. You got it. <laughs> and what about Sadie? Uh Sadie is keeping an eye on Lucky and ready to pounce in defense, but also is uh working the door and keeping out the riffraff. So just just kind of ready to fight. I mean, like oh, you do when you're a hero. Yeah, they're they're really hoping that <laughs> tonight's the night. <laughs> oh, I wish you would. Better land it a little bit. Oh, around. I wish you would go ahead. <laughs> yeah, and uh, being also just as a word of warning to everyone. Uh, I will probably drop in and out of ridiculous accents and, and that you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is what it is. <laughs> and being a saloon out here in the frontier, the Montana territories, it does get a little bit rough and tumble uh, on most nights, honestly, just depending on how drunk and rowdy the crowd gets and, uh, you know, people fighting over the, uh, the ladies in the saloon. But tonight, Surprisingly kind of quiet, pretty chill. But as you all are relaxing, enjoying your evening, you hear screams from outside. I immediately book it out. Just run right out the door. Yeah. As speak you up to bolt... the oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, as you bolt out the door, you see uh, maybe a dozen or so people running from the other side of town. It's not a very large town. Silver Falls is pretty small. Typical kind of Western town. It's all on like maybe two streets. I'll just turn back. We got runners. And Jay, you started to say something. I'm sorry. I was going to sneak over to the window and take a look out. Yeah, you see kind of the same thing. You see about a dozen or so people. Uh, they seem to be running from the area of the mountains. Uh, you're, you're in a valley, so there's mountains on either side. Uh, we'll say the westernmost mountains. Can I quick sh shift into uh, lupus and try it out to see if I overhear any of uh, what's what's going on? You can. I'm, I'm going to advise you. <laughs> as you Please are do, because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. As you're new to Werewolf, <laughs> I'm going to advise you to probably go somewhere not like immediately outside the saloon, because everyone will see okay. you and everyone will immediately go into delirium. <laughs> other than our <laughs> other character. And you is, only have okay, the one so, character delirium. So, so. so clarifying question, is everyone in the saloon a shifter or are there, is it a mix? No. Maybe. You might, well, and the thing is, you might know. Uh, actually, I'm going to say you probably know, unless you all think otherwise, uh, that Eve and Addie are Garu. You probably would know that because you've traveled together. Uh, I'm sure one of you probably had to shift at some point. Um, lucky? I don't know. Uh, is there, we, would I we just be able to smell it on them? Potentially. That, that's a possibility. I have a uh, lot of cayenne of, on me, so 
Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, cayenne is the, the typical lupine smell, didn't you? Know? And I can't shower in two weeks. <laughs> I like to get dirty. Two yeah, weeks? What, what are you, royalty? <laughs> Eddie, hush up. Come over the window. All right, folks, I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> can I uh, see maybe what they're running from from the window? You can't quite tell. It seems like they're running from where they're coming. Uh, the buildings are blocking what they might be running from currently. So can I pop in? Would I, knowing, you know, because I work this club all the time, there's a little spot right inside the door maybe where I can just do it. I don't, how long does it take me to shift with my quick it's shift? Phone booth. Oh, it's, it's like almost It's a phone booth, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I mean, I would say probably an alley in between the buildings would be best. Okay. If you go inside, then people are going to be like, oh, hey, look, Sadie just came inside and then a dog just ran out. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Shaggy dog. I mean, I was gonna go somewhere up there, but yeah, okay. So I'll dip out. Uh, I'll do that. Oh, I'm assuming. I'm just assuming I know spots. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Shannon, the player, doesn't know what the hell she's doing, but <laughs> Sadie would know the spot. <laughs> she yeah. would just pop out and exactly. Evil go and outside too. You... What was that? Oh, sorry. Evil go outside too to get a better okay. look. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, uh, lemon, I'm not even gonna... I think Lucky is like forced outside. <laughs> like everyone at the bar is like, Come on, Luck, let's go. Yeah. The rest of the crowd forces you. <laughs> Come on, Lucky, you, you get out there. The sheriff's saw, I trust you. <laughs> Come on, Dick. Uh, they're, you see? they're really just hoping you get shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, to, to make me more burly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what makes put a man some, a man. Put some hair yeah, because that's what it does. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A little lead. Yeah, puts hair on the chest. I'm just thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, my head. We're, learning, we're learning so much. Um, wolves smell like cayenne. Uh, getting shot puts hair on your chest, makes you more manly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, it's an educational for, channel. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who are uh, watching the stream, this is only the second time Jay and Rosie and I have played together. Actually, the second time I've played with most of you. Uh, just kidding. Third for Shannon, because we had the Tiger Heart game. Uh, but but Jay and I have established we share a single brain cell because we <laughs> way too often <laughs> think the exact same thing and it's kind of scary sometimes. Yeah, very scary. Because you know Texas, Missouri, so close to each other, basically I'm the same. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I have established on this stream that uh, Missouri's new catchphrase is at least we're not Texas or Florida. <laughs> yeah, so we got yeah. that. Going. It's on all the license plates. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Show me yeah. state. I pretty much Not just walk around apologizing to people now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get it. I'm sorry for what the rest of them did. <laughs> Good times. Uh, yeah, so as you all have kind of made your way out, I won't make Sadie roll for it because it is a, a small town. It's nighttime. Uh, and like you said, you probably would know the town. You're all more or less even though, especially even Addy, are more of the wandering type, you come in to this area often enough, you would know some spots where you could go. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of a almost a requirement as a Garu that you would have some safe places to go and shift. And so, yeah, you are able to shift into your lupus form. Uh, I know, Eve, you kind of went out before everyone else. You would probably catch the tail end of Sadie running down the alley. And then a moment or two later, a familiar looking dog run back out. <laughs> what does uh, what does Sadie yet. look like as a dog? Uh, Sadie looks like a wolf. Um, so <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. like <laughs> even but, in my dog the, form, have, I, I look you have the I look like husky. Look like a regular dog. <laughs> yeah, but I look like you know like husky ish okay. probably. Okay. You know? I was like gonna say I love how oh, look like a corgi. That would be oh my god. Oh, corgi. Actually, yes. that would have been phenomenal. Please. I yeah. mean, so that's yeah, I, I'm the, I'm a red a red and white husky. Okay, yeah, hey I was gonna there, say you took, the, you took the background that lets you look like a dog, and it's just funny mm -hmm. that you're like, no, nah, I look like a wolf. Like you would have looked like a wolf either <laughs> yeah. way. Look like a very wolfish dog. Yeah. yeah, but it's like you know when people go up and they're like, "Oh, oh, is that a? Oh, no, it's a dog," you know. But they, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's what, that, that's what I got going on. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, you see this familiar-looking 
reddish husky bolt out of the alley. And are you going towards where they're running from? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm intentionally trying to get a vibe if they're just screaming, if they're saying anything, I'm, I want to try to hear the conversations is what I'm trying to do. There's not really a conversation. It's mostly screaming. Uh, but as you run in that direction, you do see a person on a horse charging after them. And from a distance, you don't really notice anything strange about it. It just looks like a person. It's dark. Uh, but as they get closer, you see that they are translucent. Mm. Uh, I'm going to bark, which I'm not going to do. Uh, <laughs> How dare. How dare. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then can I like... I kind of want to like see if I can go uh, like s run around like to come up behind. I want to see if there's anything else, if there's just this one, but I want to try to not be have them run after me. So I'm like, going to like book off to the left. Okay. Uh, I will have you roll this. And time. I'm going to try to slink a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. While I will have you roll this. doing that. Can I mm -hmm. run a, a, try to use a cult to figure out what this, Slightly transparent uh, cowpoke is. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, give me intelligence and occult. And Sadie, I'll have you give me dex and stealth. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I have nothing in stealth. <laughs> I mean, you're in a room, so that tracks. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. So I'm mostly just trying to run. All right. So I have two in deck, so I just roll two. That's all. Yep. That's what's happening. And and so here's where it's similar with vampire. Uh it's a little bit dangerous because since you only have two and you currently have two rage, they're both rage dice. So if you fail this, there's no other option. You're just gonna fail it. And brutally. Okay, well, we're in it now. I rolled an eight yeah. and a six. What does that mean? Oh, perfect. That is two successes. So you are A-OK. -okay. No issues there. Uh, yeah, you are able to kind of slink around, uh, get a better vantage point. And what about Eve? Ah, so um, Eve got two successes. Okay. But I did roll a one on a rage die. Just one one? Just one one. Okay. Not an issue. Okay. Gotta be two ones, gotcha. two twos, or a one and a two. Nope, we're good there. So I got two successes overall. Awesome. Uh, I mean, you have heard rumors, uh, as was said in the, the narration, that there's been some spooky shit going down. Uh, you've heard a lot about ghosts, but, you know, humans are weird like that. They talk about things that Sometimes they're just making it up. Sometimes they're just drunk and seeing things. Can I use my penumbral sense to see if there is any strangeness, I mean, additional strangeness around this individual? Absolutely. Please do. Do you still roll rage dice for the pool of gifts? Uh, not for that one, I don't believe. And what is Lucky doing? Well, Lucky and Addy, I guess. What are you both doing? Addy's Usher and Lucky out of the Come on, Luck. We're going to go get into some stuff. All right, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. You don't need to push that. With you? He just, he downs it. All right. <laughs> Um, despite being the run, he can, he can hold his liquor pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, werewolf. Burn yeah. through it. Uh, yeah, so Jay, yeah. for penumbral sense, it's just uh, cost one willpower. Yes, I will spend that. Also, thanks to Aaron, uh, who's not really, but kind of my boss uh, from Even Footing Games, we have a hydrate in the chat, so drink some water, bitches. Respectfully. I am out of drink. How dare. 
Well, I you mean, need to get you whiskey. She, you need to get you some whiskey. She did say because uh, over on Even Footing Games, instead of mine is hydrate or dihydrate. On Even Footing Games, it's hydrate or dihydrate. So sorry about you. I I love <laughs> saying that one. Yeah, I, I'm bisexual, so I got my three drinks lined out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Classic I'm bisexual. Banned, so I'll drink king. anything. <laughs> I'm stabbing all this. Um, <laughs> I feel like I feel like a bad gay for not having not, not having a cocktail in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay, what did you get on your roll for memorial sense? So I got a six and two tens. Hell yeah. So you got what four five successes. Mm -hmm. fantastic um yeah so looking at this writer you see it definitely does not belong uh you would probably know knowing a little bit about the occult that ghosts of dead people uh they they're not from the umbra they are from the underworld kind of you know similar but not exactly the same place uh and they typically can't get into the umbra that you would go to in order for it to be here some weird shit has to be going down and you see that there are no other spirits in the area uh, like the typical weaver worm type spirits that you might see and i'll call out you there revenant what you want and as it continues to charge down these people. You see that it is dressed in like a, a union uniform, wielding a saber, and it is slicing at these people. You need to take that pig stick away from him. You gotta hurt somebody. Do I see this too? Absolutely. You sure do. I immediately go into Krinos, whatever the hell that means and however that works. So I will, I will let you know. I will let you know. You're going to cause some delirium. <laughs> because there are How many people. They're already see. delirious, right? They're running well, from a ghost. Into the ghost at this point. Yeah, I, have yeah. some, I have something. Wait, wait. I have something that says I can not do that. No, that's just the dog. It's Never mind. Person. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh... Being yeah, in the middle of town, you can. You can. Uh, one nice thing about this time period is there aren't like video cameras, so it's just word of mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, so delirium, while bad, uh, mostly it's bad because then they'll call, you know, like rangers and things like that, uh, sheriffs from other towns to come and hunt down these monsters. But it'll take some time. Okay. Uh, and so is you, this you as the GM saying, this is a really bad idea. I should probably not do it. Cause if that's the case, I'm, I will amend. <laughs> I'm saying you can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, I can see into the oh, hole. Can I see maybe oh, the, know, uh, the change would be that. like, calm down, pooch. I ain't need no need <laughs> <Yeah>. of that. <laughs> yeah, you can. You yeah, can you would totally see me start. You would totally see me start to go. So keep it calm, dear hound. It's all right. I'll 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 back down. And I'm immediately but, looking for a place to to to, to shift cuz I'm I'm ready. So are we going <laughs> yeah, so is there like a I don't know, like a building close by or are so we right out in the middle of What's up? So that you can shift into Kranos? mm Mhm. I mean, realistically, if you're going to shift into Kranos, it's going to cause delirium anyway, so you might as well just do it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'll just tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, give me two rage checks, so just roll 2d10. I will roll my angry-looking dice. A seven and a five. Okay, uh, so that's one success. You're fine. You are able to shift into Krynos. Uh, you don't lose any rage. But 
absolutely everyone at this point who is not Garu is losing their shit. So okay. all of the people who came out there. with Lucky and Addy and Eve uh, immediately also begin screaming and running and going to grab their guns. <laughs> I would like to attempt to uh, have people not grab their guns, maybe be like, Oh, there's ghosts and monsters around here. This is some kind of crazy prank going on. And maybe try to uh, charisma slash manipulate them into them going back into the bar. Maybe get more libations in their system. Yeah. Can I can I assist and just turn to everyone and say, yo, drunker than a skunk. <laughs> get yeah. back in there. Yeah. Uh, Addy, I'll give you a bonus die. And yeah, I would definitely like a probably performance check. I can do that. Would beautiful fly? I am beautiful. Are you assisting? Or oh, does Addy also have? I am beautiful. Oh, we fly. both beautiful. We, yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, yes. Add how many die or how many dots uh-huh. of beautiful? beautiful. Oh, I have two. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so you get one from lucky and two from beautiful, in addition to your charisma okay. and your performance. Okay. And I. Well, I'm probably not singing about it, so I won't take that another <laughs> That might injure my comments. I mean, singing about it might be helpful, though. You know, it's a saloon after all. Oh, that is true. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> a lot of ice. It's Wolf Monster Whiskey Dance. You know? <laughs> okay. So, do you successes? On rage dice, like mean anything? Not anything. Just a few botch. Just a few botch. Okay, cool. Three successes total. Hmm. Okay. I did not roll. You, you're able to get some of the people to calm down, at least a little bit. Not enough to not be going for their guns, uh, but they're not like screaming and losing their minds quite as much. But they're absolutely armed in the saloon, like rifles, pistols out on the table, ready for anything that may come through the saloon doors. Well, Sadie, stay out of this damn saloon. (laughs) Eve, what are you doing? Do I hear any of that? Am I too Uh, far away? Probably not much. I want to. Like I said, get that pig sticker away from uh, the uh, ghostly Union soldier. So yeah, that's um, unsling my rolling block. Take aim. Okay. Uh, Chad has decided they're going to be uh, helpful to me tonight, which I appreciate. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, enraging the enemy, so giving them some bonus die. Yay. Rude. <laughs> How rude. Uh, so are you going for an attack here? Yes. Okay. And are you using your rifle? Yes, yes, I will be. Perfect. Go for it. I um well, I didn't look this up. Is there what sort of changes are there for like an aim shot? Uh I would give you a bonus die if you are gonna aim. Okay. All right. Two. Okay. One second. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you you take a shot, and it seems to pass right through. Well, that was just dumb on my part. I need to use ghost bullets <laughs> on a ghost sword. A for effort, though. <laughs> Lucky, what are you doing? Um, okay, question. Would this be something I could use binding for? Sure could. Well, I mean, you could try. Um, like, that's not I a, could, yeah. certainly try. It's just, it, if it works, it or, works. Or clave. Would clave be useful here? Possibly. Possibly. Because my clave is my gun, so part of me is thinking, like, I kind of rush there, take in with my gun, and fire. Yeah, go for it. If, if, do, do, will that hurt a ghost? Uh, you know, I don't think Lucky would know, and uh, I will tell you in a minute. Okay. So go ahead and uh, give me dexterity plus firearms. 
Okay. Um, firearms is two. Dex is two, so I'm rolling four dice. Yep. And then two okay. of them will be rage dice. Okay. That's... Um, holy shit. Okay, that's three tens and a two. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's still a crit. Uh, so that is a total... <clears throat> so crits, the way it works, uh, it goes from two successes to four. So there's a total of five successes. Uh, and yeah, you take a shot and it seems like coming from your silvered, you know, obviously it's not going to be solid silver because I'm pretty sure that would not be an effective gun, uh, but your silvered pistol. <laughs> soft. Yeah, just immediately <laughs> Like a wax gun. Good times. I mean, it's good for one one shot, I guess. Yeah. Class, class cannon. The tower. Yeah, yeah. Hate when it goes limp, you know. <laughs> <Just how it laughs> and yeah, you you take a shot. It seems like this is significantly more effective. Uh, okay. It blows a small hole through the shoulder of this rider. And as you do this, you see that it is still charging down, coming right at you at this point. And as it is about to hit you, it disappears. I don't like that. Lucky. I'm not. That was a hell of a shot. Pretty interesting. I got some skill for my pa. Well, let me see that shooter in your hand, if you don't mind. I have a promise not to run off with it. Oh, one dream of it. I do like a fancy little spin, hand it over. So since I still have penumbral sense, can I see that this is like definitely a talisman? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you can also see on the handle of it, uh, inlaid in like the, the, I guess the inlay, whatever, uh, is the Garu symbol for Black Fury and for Philodox. Well, well, well. Seems we have something in common, friend. Pass the gun back. I figured as much. It's because you smell like cayenne. <laughs> it's because you smell like cayenne, famously. <laughs> well, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of us smell like cayenne. Is that so? Well, it's so. I have you sniffed yourself lately? <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> so, Sadie, now that the, the ghost has disappeared, would you be coming back to the saloon? Oh, you're muted. I think you're muted. Sorry, I was typing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would have gone after the ghost, so I would assume that I would have just followed down. Uh, oh, perfect. But, but so, I would have, so like, yeah, as, but I would have... I was going to say, so I would have... The tried to shift back after yeah as the ghost is charging at you you see also a dog charging at you <laughs> yeah because I, I would have just been going for the kill so then afterwards would have gone out yeah yeah jeez louise what it's dog I... whoa there <laughs> And at this point, uh, I mean, I don't think you would have to go very far to be able to shift. And realistically, with everyone inside, you could probably uh, even shift somewhat more subtly out here in the open, as long as you're not standing right in front of a window. Yeah, no, I would have probably uh, just slunk to my to my spot that I used earlier, kind of, yeah. you know, kind of like my P spot, but I'm, it's my shift spot. <laughs> it's bull. it's bull. But I'm bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh and then I'd just kind of walk in and be like, oh, so sorry. <laughs> but I'm like real quiet. Everyone around. <laughs> oh, it's again. Good luck buying everyone around, Sadie, because uh, And I heard she's fine. buying me a double. We're dealing with her. I, I thought, I thought they were gonna eat Eve. 
They can try. They can try. Yeah, good luck paying for it, Sadie, since uh, you're <laughs> broke as can be. I am broke. I have nothing. I have nothing. Well, you have to close on your back and your guns. That's something. And your horse. <laughs> Are the, the spirits back now that the apparition is gone? Or what's happening in the Umbra? Yeah, since you still have your penumbral sense up for a whole scene, uh, it seems like there are some weaver spirits, uh, probably. Um, now I'm blanking on the pattern spider. Jesus. Uh, you see a couple of pattern spiders starting to kind of make their way back into town. Uh, you see some wild spirits, mostly sort of animal-like spirits, starting to make their way back. Can I try to entreat you with one to uh, speak to me? Absolutely. Why don't you give me a charisma roll? Mm -hmm. uh, and I would say probably persuasion. Persuasion. Damn. Okay. Actually, you know what? You've got some occult. I would let you use occult. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, kind storyteller. Okay. Whoa. Just remember this whenever we play vampire. <laughs> Dang, these some dice are treating me nice. Three lines and a ten. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that what you are able to kind of entice over to you uh, looks to be a skunk spirit. Aww. But it has more legs than a skunk. Mm, probably, I'm going to say six legs and three tails. And it's got some extra eyes. It's a little little disconcerting to someone who hasn't seen these spirits, but you're, you're pretty used to it. Like you said, you spend about as much time in the Umbra as you do in the real world. So you're probably pretty used to it. You dare, sweet flower. What happened here? And it doesn't communicate to you in words. What it does is it communicates in sense. But you are able, with your yeah, with your penumbral sense, uh, to to better understand somewhat, uh, and it communicates like a sense of fear and anger in the area. Okay, now good. All right, I'm gonna thank it. Um, I'll leave some jerky out as like the offering and head back inside and uh, as it's you know munching on this jerky it gives you one last little uh, puff of scent and communicates something about the mine it's a little unclear but something about the old silver mine I'm gonna call whistle for my uh, spirit companion Absolutely. Right. Why don't you tell us what that looks like? Ah, yes. So, looks like a... I think that Reynard inhabits the spirit of the body of whatever fox is native in that area. So it has the, the, the host body. And okay. so, uh, I'm guessing up here is probably more of a silver fox than like a, a red. Probably. Yeah, that would make sense. But um, really intelligent eyes, though. Like, you can definitely see a lot going on behind the, uh, the little beady, uh, mischievous eyes of old Ray. Yeah. And uh, before I forget, Lucky, you just got an inspiration, so you get a bonus die in your next roll. Yes. Nice. Yeah. So you, you guys got to be nice to the chat, and they'll be nice to you, maybe. <laughs> we love the chat. We love the chat. <laughs> The chat is everything. I mean, the best way to be nice to the chat, since it's Aaron, you know, from Even Footing Games, is uh, go and click the Notify Me on Launch for Bathfinder, our Kickstarter, which I know several of you already have. So Already on. Appreciate already you. Already on. Mm -hmm. so what's, what, what's the so game? I think we'll eat. Tell, me, tell me more. I, I know we're on stream. Doing oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I plug mean, away. Absolutely. Uh, so I helped write the new Babies and Broadswords. Uh, I mean, Babies and Broadswords has already been a thing, 
uh, but it is Pathfinder, which is coming to Kickstarter here in less than two weeks on the 16th. It is our pirate version of Babies and Broadswords with its own little adventure. And yeah, uh, it's the first thing that I've written that's going to be like physically published. So, so awesome. go do so the thing. Cool. Also, uh, Eve and Addie just got inspiration. And I'm going to drop mm -hmm. them in the chat. Thank you. Hey, won't you uh, go ahead and hightail it over to the mines and then come back, meet me halfway. We're coming out there. But you tell yep. me if you see anything weird. Uh, go ahead and give me wits awareness and add uh, how many how many dots did you take in spirit? Was it all seven? Uh, so I took five points in spirit uh, pack. Perfect. Uh, Sadie, you also have inspiration. And uh, yeah, you can add all five of those. So hope you're ready to roll a lot of die. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's see. So you said, uh, what was I rolling with wits? Uh, wits, awareness, and then add your spirit die. Awareness. Okay. I'm about to hear a large clattering. <laughs> Five. Okay. Yeah. Um, we will resolve that here in a little bit, but that is for uh, Ray to go and investigate. So what are the rest of you doing at this point? So after my, uh, you know, indication from Addie that I owe everyone a drink in the bar, I have uh, slunk off uh, <laughs> knowing where all of the back stock is and I just start coming around and pouring <laughs> shots down, down the bar. And the saloon owner, whose name is Elliot Avery, you would you would definitely know that, is like, all right, Sadie, this is on your tab, but you owe me. You gotta pay that back one of these days. Of course. Of <laughs> course. That and then I just long enough to wrap around fingers these crossed. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you know that point when you know, the debt and the ridiculousness is so bad that you're just like, sure, add it on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you mean me right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 You take it from me whenever, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much the... Uh... And then after I do that, I would um, want to be at the door guarding because I don't know what the hell that was. So I would kind of pour and then just be back and be kind of like on high alert. Looking for anything. Absolutely. Yeah. And Eve, are you going back inside? Yeah, I'll go back inside. Um, I want to motion all the uh, those that I now know to be Guru over to uh, Addy and myself. I finished my set and then I. Of course. Gotta mm -hmm. give the people what they want. Yeah. Hey, hi, howdy. What'd you see out there, Eve? I saw absence of spirit scenario. Strange. But then they all came back once that ghosty got out. So I went in and said, Ray, on down to the mines. So the skunk told me something scary and angry vibes going on out there. So we're going to the mines. Well, maybe we can find start, some extra silver. Start grabbing my pack. I'm I'm gonna take one of those free shots first. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like, mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm gonna sneak away someone else's too. Oh, <laughs> I wink I wink at you, and show you the rest of the bottle that I have in my in my jacket. Bless. <laughs> yeah. uh, lucky why don't you give me a stamina roll uh, and don't forget Ooh. you do have inspiration if you need it I have three in stamina and for this inspiration is just a bonus die just FYI okay. um, what's considered success six and above awesome I'm using that bonus <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's one ten, two fives, and a four. Okay, uh, that's one success. You are feeling pretty buzzed at this point. <laughs> it's exactly how I want to be. <laughs> In fact, part of, me, part of me feels like I should have just failed that roll on purpose. Um, I mean, it, it makes you shoot better when you're when you're a little drunk, right? Oh yeah, no, it's it's, it's from a pot taught me. Way. Like some, sometimes on the job, you need to be a l- little buzzed. It kind of you, you gotta feel good when you when you enforce yeah. the law. I mean, that All is the sheriffs are bastards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the frontier sheriff way. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, as you, you take your shot and women's feeling a little bit buzzed, are you into to the mine or are you doing anything else? Uh, I'm just going to say bye to everyone. Uh, <laughs> that it's person. just very weak. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if any of them even notice. So I'm sure they're being <laughs> rowdy talking about the ghost. I'm just like, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> uh, it's a very half half ass like oh, okay bye yeah uh, except I'm, I'm just gonna see them tomorrow night they're gonna make fun of me tomorrow night it's circle uh, I mean, same channel. yeah i was gonna say they're, they're probably gonna make fun of you later tonight too <laughs> yeah uh i'm gonna i'm gonna turn around as i exit the door and look them all like y'all should stay in tonight oh the moon real bright I mean, Predator's out. And then move out. Yeah. I'm going to add. Sorry, my thought was just like following God going, watch a tribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say, y'all know it's a full moon. Uh, predators, uh, everyone's acting a little, little kooky tonight, too. So stay in. Stay in. It is also, uh, as was established in the intro, October 30th, which traditionally Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people believe that around Halloween, the barrier between the Earth and the spirit realm is thinner. So all kinds of possibilities for shenanigans. So you all make your way outside, uh, saddle up your horses and make your way out to the silver mine. And... Being from this area, especially lucky, uh, you would know that several years ago, the mine collapsed and it trapped all the miners inside. None of them made it out. So once you get there, it seemingly is blocked off. Anyone got any dynamite? Seemingly being the operative word there. Well, there are ways around. Oh, at it. Don't be a laser. We just pick up the stones, get them out the way. Why don't you have a little look to see if any stones are loose, darling? Fine, we go around. Ain't gonna be stones in the other place. Well, and Eve, you would definitely know uh, it is possible you could use the Umbra to get around this collapse. Y'all want to follow me? Slip on through. Lay, lay down. All right. Why don't you give me a roll for your right of shadow passage, please? Uh, do rights use for each dice? Uh, they don't typically. Okay. Uh, but this one is any renown plus a cult. All right. I'll be using honor. Let's cult. And I have uh, the lore sheet Umbral Traveler, which I yeah, think. Yeah, so go ahead and add your Umbral Traveler die to it. Oh. I mean, you took it for a reason. So, I'm yeah. Get... So, I'll go ahead and have Eve draw the complex runes and the, the dirt. Start her chanting and. Uh, dancing to open the path and what would she have that would be reflective uh probably i think she mostly uses her spear it has a big broad head on it and she keeps it like shined all the time i love that 
come on, come on. Is there no one out here where we are right now? Correct. I am in in lupus just, form. Just you just want sitting. to wolf out so bad. I just do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how often do you get to just be a wolf? Like straight, right? I'm just straight. I'm just gonna lupus out, and I'm gonna I'm just, just sitting there, kind of like patiently waiting. Yeah, we didn't we didn't talk about this in our character creation, but I feel like Sadie probably was lupus born, which is someone who was born a wolf yeah. and then eventually somehow became human and is able to shift in between the different forms. Yeah, that very much sounds like the character. Yeah. Yeah, which tracks. Which uh, we it. talked about this this last week because we had a lupus born then as well. Uh, because wolves age differently than humans, in literal years, you're maybe like three. Yeah, that's that tracks. That's 100% yeah. accurate. That is yeah. the yeah. most Shannon thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you've got a, you've you're got either three or 300. That's all I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so go big or go home, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love that it's like the exact opposite of the character I played in Vampire. <laughs> like you do. Right. Yeah. All right. So after I blow the tobacco smoke across the uh, head of the spear to end the uh, right, I got two successes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. It's going to be a little bit of a rough passage. Uh, you are going to take one aggravated willpower damage as you pass through the gauntlet, which is the barrier between the physical world and the Umbra. And the Umbra here is strange. So as you cross over into the spirit world, you all physically go. It's not just like astral bodies. You all are able to what's called step sideways into the spirit world and it is normally uh in my world kind of a, a day glow colored thing everything's a little bit inverted in color uh here things are very jagged which is not normal normally they are more of a, a natural you know you see plants and reflections of the physical world here things seem broken oh. This is not right. Is Ray here? Uh, yeah, Ray does meet you here and would communicate that deeper into the mine, it gets really dark and not in the physical darkness sense. Like a lot of hurt and anger. Well, yeah. Ray here says you're gonna get worse and worse as we go on. Well, seems to me like there's some sort of cancer down there. We don't want it to spread to the town, so we best get in there, have us a look, see, see what we can do. I'd much appreciate that. I'm pretty fond of this town. So if we, we could prevent like any sort of spookies or anything, I greatly appreciate the assistance. That's what we're here for. I'll go first. I see any uh, boogies down here. I can trap them. And so as you start to approach what in the physical world was the collapsed mine entrance, uh, it initially looks like a, a large uh, cave, right? But you notice that as you are walking in, it's a little bit squishy and a little bit damp. Yeah. And it feels like you're walking in something's mouth. Ooh. Well, that is disconcerting. Well, I think disgusting is the right you word. See me. You see me kind of just, I'm like stepping like weird you're bootying it and i'm just like yeah. yeah i'm just my hair is all on the back of my neck is all up and just kind of baby stepping ain't no swamp ever scared me this ain't gonna do it so i have a question on uh just of mechanics wise huh? 
if if um is there a difference between like you know this hispo crinos um is there a difference in terms of like the quickness in which like if we could get attacked or something comes up or whatever uh, can I use my quick to to jump into either one of these with no issues? Any of them, yeah. You can shift okay. into any form. All right. Quick. Okay. So I'm just going to continue as lupus then. Perfect. So you. Oh, actually, one more question. I'm sorry. Yes. If can I speak verbally in the other forms? No. Uh, what you okay. can do is you can sort of, uh, in as much as any dog can communicate with another dog. Uh, wolves and dogs you can sort of communicate with. You could sort of, as much as any dog can communicate with any human, communicate with your companions, but you cannot speak verbally. Okay. In any of them, right? And uh, So in Glabro, mm -hmm. yeah, Glabro, uh, you can, because it, okay. you're basically still human, just a little bit hairier, uh, a little bit more bestial. In Hispo, you cannot, because you're still basically a dog. In Krynos, you can say a few words here and there, mostly things like kill, smash, anger. Perfect. Yeah. You're you're a little bit like Hulk, but hairier. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I do have animal kin, so I might be able to pick up on Sadie's that's true. a little easier. That's true. Yeah. And I would think we travel and do this kind of stuff a little bit too. So you're kind of used to my Silliness. Yeah. Also, I mean, you know, a dog doing a silly walk, you know, <laughs> it's pretty obvious what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just kind of growl, turn suspicious. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this cave puts you all absolutely on edge. Even though Eve is playing it cool, uh, internally, there's definitely some concern. So as you all continue along, you eventually come to what looks like a vortex, uh, or for those of you who may be a little bit more traveled, probably a tornado of spirits. That's something. All right. You ever seen anything like this, Eve? Once, but I may have been drunk at the time. <laughs> I am not drunk. I wish I were, but I am not. Um, could I use a cult for to determine if there's anything causing this uh, cyclone of spirits, or if it seems, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I will. I will tell you that uh, what. Ray had told you, you absolutely can feel. Uh, being in the, the spirit world, you're a little bit more in tune with the emotions of the area. So yeah, you definitely feel the fear and the anger. Uh, and you all get brief glimpses of essentially these people's lives as you're standing in the presence of this vortex. Uh, even if you're not very close to it. And, you know, you see little bits of their their day-to-day -day kind of stuff, uh, but mostly it's focused on the end of life. The fear in the dark, the hunger, the loneliness of being trapped, and no one seemingly coming to help you. Eddie, can you sing him a sweet song to get him a little less riled? I think I can try. So I'm going to uh, do some performing. Yeah. But instead of instead of singing like a calming song, I'm going to sing one of woe and kind of like sadness, like kind of like a mournful song, kind of honoring the way they're feeling um, rather than like kind of like singing them something to calm them down. So a cowboy song. Yeah. Yeah. A cowboy song. <laughs> yeah. You're spinning Absolutely. in a circle you're a cyclone of woe. <laughs> and you can again add your your dies for beautiful. Oh yes. <laughs> I love <laughs> the hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Always take beautiful. <laughs> Always. No matter what. 
<laughs> While Addie is doing this, I would like to also just kind of like be sniffing around and checking the sides and stuff like that to see if I can okay. see anything unusual going on. Yeah, uh, Sadie, give me a wits plus awareness roll. Ooh, that's six. Hey, Rosie. Got five. Five? Successes. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, with five successes. That's what I do. You, <laughs> you definitely feel uh, the anger starts to lessen a little bit, but it's almost like there's a, a harmonic kind of convergence here that your sad song sort of connects with their sadness that they're feeling. And you start to get a name coming to you. Sydney Ferguson. And it comes to you specifically, not to any of the other heroes. I'm going to ask, what's your name? Who is Sydney? And lucky you would know this to be the mayor of the town. Hmm. Oh, it's the, the mayor? Mayor of the town? Dead or alive? Alive. I'm going to face the cyclone and I'm going to ask, did Sydney do this to y'all? Oh, you 100% get the sense that yes. Uh, you don't get words per se, uh, but they all seem to blame Sydney for what happened to them. Yeah, that and, tracks. And Sadie, what did you get on your roll? Um, so I got uh, two sixes on the regular ones, and then I got a 10 and a two on the hunger. Hunger? No. Rage. 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 <laughs> what am I doing? What am I playing? Rage. One of those we guys. are also very hungry. It's, it's Gale stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so that is three successes. Uh, what specifically are you looking for? I'm just looking to see if there's like any evidence of something that is uh, like disturbed. Like this is an old mine. So is there anything like fresh in here? Any like footprints, tracks, you know? The issue uh, with that is you're in the spirit world and not everything uh, would track one-to-one -one in the Umbra from the real world. Okay. But so uh, I guess you, something that looks out of place in here. Yeah. You you don't get the sense that anything on this side uh, is disturbed recently. That you probably are the first who've come here in quite a while. How long has it been since the collapse? Uh, we'll say four years. So fairly recently. Yeah. Mm, fun fact: in Asian languages, four is a homonym for death. Sure is. Oh, look at that! It's one of it's like one of my three fun facts. <laughs> well, at least you don't have one more. Oh, Literally. that was quick. <laughs> I, that was. Yeah, I, have I almost didn't catch it. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> so, what they saying to you, Addie? Well. They're saying they're real sad. They're saying that it feels like they have a need inside of them for revenge, a need inside of them for us to know that there was one person who did this to them, and that person was Sydney Ferguson, that son of a bitch. Well, guess we gotta bring him here. Now, whether or not that was simply because of neglect or if he actually was directly responsible, we don't know. One man I know. disputes it, right? That's uh, the bottom one to make. Lucky, you, you wouldn't have much knowledge of it necessarily. You know that the mine collapsed. Uh, you might be aware that he owned it. But beyond that, there really wasn't a lot of information. Especially, uh, so as was previously mentioned, the town has been slowly dying ever since. I mean, the, the mine was kind of the heart of the town. 
That was what brought all these people in to seek their fortune. Mm -hmm. And now that that has dried up in not so much a literal sense, uh, people have been leaving pretty quickly. So as the general town has declined, how has the position of the mayor been? Does he seem to be benefiting from the decline of the town or not? Uh, I mean, Lucky, you would definitely know. He doesn't seem to be affected in any way. Mm -hmm. Like, he has not uh, stopped coming into the saloon, whereas some of the other people might come a little bit off less often uh, or have just left town altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, he seems to have some, some sad projects or something because he's uh, coming in as often as he used to. Sounds like Which, an interview needs to be done. Yeah, surprisingly, no one's questioned it. Folks just trying to survive, I guess. Huh. I try and question things, and I just get told to shut up and drink. I'm going to walk around Lucky and just kind of go right around the legs and then just sit down like right, like a dog would do, like, you know. Like on his foot? Just, just yeah, Aww. just like showing some love, like screw those bastards. Yeah. Oh, like my sister's dog is doing to me right now. Aww. <laughs> oh, Adorable. Life true. imitates art. <laughs> <laughs> so knowing all this, what are you all doing? Yeah, we gotta get out of this angry umbra. I think back to town. What y'all think? Yeah. Right, let's get out of here. All right, let's ski daddle. All right. Uh, Eve, why don't you give me a shadow passage roll as you travel back through the Umbra? Four. All right. Uh, leaving the Umbra is a lot smoother than entering. The gauntlet, maybe it's a little bit uh, less difficult the other direction, but you don't take any willpower damage this time. That would be smoother. All right. Let's go see this mayor. And you would know it is pretty late. Uh, at this point, I would say close to midnight. Let's see him tomorrow. He might be more amenable to speaking with us. I howl. Ooh. <laughs> well, here you go. And then I just start running in circles. Well, just, you know, out of curiosity, Shannon, are you wanting mm -hmm. to gain a point of rage? Because you can for Howling at the Moon. Uh, sure. I don't know okay. what that means. Give it to me. I mean, sure. as, an, as an Arun, you probably want a little bit more rage. Just uh, don't hit five. You're at three right now. Don't hit five because that'll be really bad for your friends. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so quick, you won't make uh, your oh, go ahead. Oh, I had a quick question. Um, yeah. What's the willpower calculation? Ah, uh, that was a great it's question. It's composure plus resolve. Thank you. Oh, no worries. What is it? Composure plus resolve. Okay. Rick, can Eve yes. hunt before what? they head back oh. into town? What are you trying to hunt? Sunday. Absolutely. I'm in. I'm going. <laughs> well, if uh, you both say he's going, I'm going to turn to Lupus. We're going to hunt old school. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Um, Yeah, give me. Let's do. I'm just going to look look over back at like Lucky and Addy. Like, you coming? And then... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can eat. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have specifically Eve and Sadie give me wits plus survival. Oh, yeah. I like Three, that roll. Four. So do, does anything different happen because I have more rage now? No, right. Uh, you'll That's do just... three rage dice instead of two. Oh, I forgot. A, um, I think my favor is plus one die to pursuit of prey for being a gale stalker. 
that is correct, which Sadie, you would get. Oh, I have that too. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. So I get an extra die. Is that what's happening? Yep. Mm -hmm. I got four Ooh. successes. Nice. Wait, and so you said three of my are rage, right? Correct. Wait, what are we rolling for? Is it just you two? Uh, just the two of them. Okay. You you all can go with them, but they're the ones kind of leading okay. the hunt. So. Sorry, Rosie, you, like the way you were like bent down looking <laughs> over, I'm like, oh, so wait, those are rolling two? Should I be I rolling? What? Sheet on my I did, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I needed to roll. Yeah, goblins will do goblin things. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I have uh, a six and an eight on my rage. This is over. I have to go. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Two sixes and an eight on my rage and a six on the regular. Okay. So four yeah. successes as well. Nice. Uh, right. So. It's over six. So yeah, that, I six mean, and six and over, right? That is a, yeah. okay. Yeah. Those are the only ones I gave you. Okay. Cool. Cool. Perfect. Uh, so our two Gale Stalkers lead the hunt. Uh, are Lucky and Addy going with them? Yeah, I think I'm going to be a wolf. Yeah. Should we all be wolves? Wolf pack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's do it. So okay. the four of you in lupus form are able to track down a moose. Ooh. And it seems to be alone. Hmm. Are moose typically solitary creatures? Just depends. I'm gonna Google this. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a fact check on Al please? Is, You're like, I'm gonna call this asshole out. <laughs> moose are <laughs> solitary <laughs> animals, and they move you independently. Better yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. If not, that uh, you're you're all fucked. But... Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I recently oh learned Jesus. Just how big loose mieses are. Mieses? Yeah. Yeah. They're giant. They're yeah, mean moose. too. I mean, I think I would be too if I was trying to be moose, eaten by yeah. like every animal. Yeah. <laughs> or or alone good. all the time. That too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, I, I don't want to be alone, but I've got rage issues. <laughs> weird. Weird. I'm, I'm yeah. sure that's not relatable for any of our Gary. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will say it is a male, and it has a very large, majestic rack. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I knew as soon as I was like coming out of my oh, mouth, I'm like somebody's gonna say something. <laughs> Who's it gonna perfect. be? <laughs> so, although I am smart, so I'd like to change into Hispo. That is very smart. Uh, <laughs> one rage check, and the rage check you just roll your current rage, and uh, yeah, just, it's just one d10. One d10, okay. Yep, eight is perfect. Uh, so you do not lose any rage, you also don't gain any, uh, but you're able to shift into his bow without any issue. Uh, why, why is his bow better around the moose? Bigger, because, um, yeah, it's, stronger by the dire wolf versus regular wolf. Oh, I, was I guess gonna say, I was just gonna go yeah. Rhinos. <laughs> I'm going no, Rhinos because some meat why? left. The Krinos oh, is that what happens? Hair to ribbons. I mean, we can have some ground okay. chuck, I guess. We want to make burgers, but <laughs> <laughs> you do have cooking, didn't you? Take crafts cooking. I did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hello, ask, ask my my Florida guru last week about ripping things to ribbons as they. Uh, tore apart some Pentex scientists. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. deserve it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. 100%. Right. Then I totally would have been in his bow this entire time just because it's cooler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, well, I'm going to have. So, so, what do I have to do? Uh, you both. And Rosie, you said you're going to the his bow as well. Yeah, I rolled a nine. Okay. So, okay. I think Lucky so... was too, right? Yeah, so just roll yep. one dice. One, yep. Oh boy, that's a one. Ooh. So oh, you have that in inspiration dice, don't you? No, uh, I use that. that. 
It doesn't work on I books. have a six. Can I donate mine? I rolled a six. Can I donate my inspiration Ooh. dice? Uh, it wouldn't. It, inspiration wouldn't work for this because it's just a single no. rate pick. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It's kind of like death huh. saves with inspiration in D and D. So yeah, you lose a point of rage. You're at one rage, which you know that's still enough that you can do stuff. Uh, yeah. Wait, I have a thing I could give rage, right? I don't think you can do that in his book. Oh, I can. I have a thing to to take. Did increase, I do that? Increase par participants' rage. I have rage. Increase <laughs> participants' rage. I, I think don't I don't think you can do that in Hispo. I could be wrong. I think I took a thing that lets me get rid of rage. Oh, you don't want to get rid of it. You don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, because if you yeah, go you're going to need that for me in about an hour. <laughs> yeah. Because if you go down, oh wait, we then you will you'll go straight back to human form. Okay. Oh, so we, we started we started with two form. rage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you are mm -hmm. at okay. one currently. Uh, I will tell you just as a reminder. Uh, I don't believe that Lucky has howled at the moon tonight. If you do, you would regain that point of rage immediately. Okay. Wait. I would I really doing... advise that. Howl it up. Wait. Maybe I could. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna. After the kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i think i'm confused yeah. about rage um wait okay oh, so if i okay rage started with two good. rage okay but i just oh, lost so a rage mm -hmm. yes yeah because you yeah when you rage okay yeah, so when you i'm at rage one back. okay so i'm at one out of five rage correct yes now okay i get it okay yeah you want to be somewhere between one and mostly three uh four is a little bit iffy because you're right on the edge of bad uh yeah speaking of four on the edge of bad i actually mm -hmm. have moon riled so i should have four and not three right when mm. i howled i think moon Riled does it's an additional point of rage yeah that's oh, a good yeah, point. Right. that is a good point uh yeah okay. so you'd be at four all right let's do this just just you know Sadie is pissed yeah I yeah, mean, this is so in character, though. That feels good. <laughs> Anger issues. It's fine. Embrace Anger. the madness. <laughs> a room going to a room. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, would Sadie or Eve lead the charge on this moose? I think Eve would lead the charge, and Sadie would think she is. <laughs> right. That sounds good. <laughs> Uh, so Eve, I'm going to give you a bonus die because actually I'm going to give you three because you've got your, your pack mates with you. Uh, and so they're all going to be helping as well. Uh, give me strength plus brawl, please. As you pounce. You got this. Does this yeah. spell give you any, oh, you get two dice bonus as well. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. I'm giving you five bonus die because of the his spell. <laughs> Dang. Dang. That's a lot. Okay, so I don't know if it's I got three successes. Yeah, three. Okay. I mean, what is that dude. bite plus one aggravated? What does that mean? That'd be uh, for like, damage. damage. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Damage. Uh, so that's really most important whenever you're dealing usually with other Garu or Farah in general, which is the other shapeshifters, uh, or potentially like vampires, because aggravated damage is much harder to heal from than superficial. But when you're attacking like a human or a moose, everything's aggravated. So, um, oh, I have unfortunate news, Jay. Yay. Uh, so you charge at this moose, the four of you, and it seems to be aware of you as it uses its rack to deflect and knock you off. Because it rolled higher than you. So So can I can I like be like ha ha, ha and then go at it? <laughs> Whatever a dog laugh sounds like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm just turning like. Oh, it'd be. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
Yeah. Uh, go God. ahead and give me the same roll, please. Uh, which was what? Strength plus brawl. Strength yeah. plus brawl. Because you and know I was not paying nervous, attention. It didn't have to do with me. Two dice. Yeah, you do get two bonus dice. Strength plus plus brawl. Four, yep. seven, plus two, nine. <laughs> I told you, you need a shit ton of werewolves. Are and then, powerful. yeah, ha <laughs> ha. And then, and then, hang on. And then, uh, four of those would be oh, the other one. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. she real mad. She real mad. Damn. Speaking of, would I be? Uh, would Eve be kind of pissed off at getting thrown and then laughed at? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you would gain a point of rage for. You didn't take any damage, damage, but it's emotional wounds. <laughs> All right, it's emotional damage. So... <laughs> okay, so so it's nine that I'm doing, right? Yep. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> I've seen more. Yeah. All right, so I got an eight on the rage die. I got over here. That's not a seven, a ten, and a nine on regular. So four, I guess. Yeah. Decent. Let's see. Should I roll my inspiration? Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you yes, you should. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just rolled for the moose. Seven. Perfect. Uh, with that fifth success, you beat it. <laughs> Heck yeah! It's, it's rolling mm. Like crazy. Uh, Suck it, Moose. And would you be using claws or teeth for this? Uh, I probably would be using teeth. Okay. I don't know what does more damage, but that's probably what claws. I do, so I'll just go with that. Claws. Claws. For something like this, like if it were first as a supernatural, technically, and I do the... one piece, or do I have to? Got to pick. Like, I got to pick it. Yeah, All right, I'll do. Claws. I'll do claws. Okay. Where do I find uh, that damage? I just know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think cool. Yeah. I think it's on there, but yeah, no, I just, I just know that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you slash at the flank of this moose. And it goes down. It is severely wounded. Uh, and because Garu are the protectors and children of Gaia, I cannot imagine that you all would not immediately put it out of its misery. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, I, I just bite its throat. Yeah. So it is gone very quickly. And you all now have dinner. I'm going cool. to... Uh... Thank the uh, the spirit of the moose before uh, start cutting into it, skinning it. I will accompany you because I have to perform a commemorative oh, yeah. rite every time I see something die. So I'm going to howl at the moon in gratitude, but not in a rageful way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm I'm going to howl at the moon to gain a rage. Do it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> was so enthusiastic. I I feel like yeah. that's exactly how women does it too. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's uh, like it's sort of half. Like he doesn't know if he likes it or not. <laughs> uh, Makes sense. Ooh. Also, he's a little buzzed, so it's just oh, like ooh. oh. <laughs> that's a yeah, good. I'm just, gonna like. He's just nudge. not naturally very vicious. <laughs> I'm gonna pop back into human or sorry, Hamid, and uh, all right. Who wants moose tata? Who wants me to cook this up? I'm eating. <laughs> I'll I'll shift back into Hamid as well. I do love my babies cooking. I uh, don't know. <laughs> I guess if I'm can, already a wolf, I don't. I don't want to like shift back. No, I'm just gonna save time. Just nom nom. Sure. I mean, you you definitely can for free. Like human and wolf form, 
don't cost anything. You can do that anytime. Um, oh, I feel like just to save time, I'm just going to yeah. eat as a wolf. Don't worry about cooking. Makes sense. What about Sadie? Oh yeah, I was still eating. Like I didn't. He was asking the question, and I was just. I was. I was already eating. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, "Do you want?" I'm like, "Mom, mom, mom, mom." Yeah. Eve is like having to elbow the other wolves away just to be able to cut into this. I love it. (laughs) Yeah, I think. I think after I finish, I would just like. You know, like the the nap kind of thing. You know, I'm just gonna <laughs> do like I do a couple figure eights and then a circle, and then I'm just gonna lay down and yeah. Of course, I kind of like I'll slink back into lupus and nap. And Jay, you said you took something for cooking, right? I did. I took craft and then a specialty in cooking. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say either. Dex or intelligence, either one, and craft. Same, same role. Okay. Flavor. No flavor. We're Cajun. I know. Don't Cayenne. Worry. It's gonna be flavors. The it's the whitest Cajun. <laughs> gonna be black and move state. Okay, there's my beautiful roll. Five successes. Oh wow! <laughs> this is not my beautiful roll. This is not my beautiful. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how would you how would you cook this up? Oh yeah, definitely uh, cut some nice big steaks out of the, the flank on there. Just pack it with seasoning. Uh, start up a little fire and just sear it. Sear it till it's all cooked. Well, not all the way through. We'll leave it a little raw. We're guru sure. after all. Make my medium rare, please. But um, yeah, definitely make it so seasoned you can't even see the meat. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Everyone's is- eyes are just like tearing up. <laughs> but it is delightful. Like this is so well cooked, especially for being, you know, out here on a little yeah. campfire. The best cowboy meal ever. Oh yeah. You all, I'm assuming, rest for the night. In the morning, when you awake, uh, it is bitterly cold. Mm -hmm. But, thankfully, you're all insulated well enough, uh, being wolves that you are. But the slight frost on the ground uh, gives it just a a little bit of an edge as we start the day off. And you all make your way to town. And I'm assuming you're going probably straight to the mayor. So. So you make your way into City Hall and you are greeted by Blake Hayden, who is the clerk. And I say, well, howdy, y'all. How can I, I want to punch you? him in the face. Just Blake Hayden <laughs> sounds like a very punchable <laughs> name. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah. Let me get some Montana. friends for you real quick. The, the Montana 1885 fuckboy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what a lucky does. He punches him in the face. You son of a bitch. You owe me money. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you would like to do, you can no. absolutely do that. I mean, if but... he, uh, if we can say he owes me money, I don't know. no, lucky's I mean, not I, violent. I would I would allow it, but yeah, that, that seems very out of character. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. He, of he's thinking dreams. about it. Yeah, that's what that's what Lucky was dreaming about last night. <laughs> like probably whoever's the lightest sleeper in the group probably woke up and Lucky was in wolf form, like doing the little dog kicking thing and crying. <laughs> yeah. I definitely saw it. <laughs> you get him, Lucky. You get him. <laughs> so they just say, "How can I help you, folks?" So, I would like to spearhead this uh, because I have a lot of charisma and etiquette. And you're pretty. <laughs> Good morning, Blake. Uh, I don't know if you know me. My name is Addie. My last name is Blake. Maybe that means we have something in common. I don't think that's 
rightly how that works, but I think it's rightly how it works. <laughs> Uh, we, we were wondering if we maybe could get in and see the mayor real quick. Like, we don't need to be a formal appointment. Mm. Yeah, why don't you give me that charisma etiquette roll? Okay. And yes, you can absolutely use the beautiful dice. He is not uh, immune to your womanly charms. So if I... Roll a one. Does that get rid of a success? Or no? uh, I mean, is it on a rage dice? It is not. Okay, then it, it's irrelevant. It's just so a four. A, okay. Uh, yeah. So he just says, uh, "I mean, the mayor's a busy man, but uh, I, I guess I could get you all in." It's still early. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll let them know you're here, and just goes off and uh, you hear a little bit of discussion, uh, seemingly a little bit flustered. Uh, and then you hear shouting that you can't quite make out and the slamming of a door. I'm going to push and the door open that he went into. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you start to do that, uh, Blake is trying to come back out to you all. Uh, so you, are you pushing it forcefully or are you just kind of opening it casually? Yeah. No, okay. forcefully. Uh, yeah, just roll me just strength. I believe in a woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was, I was told while we were on break that this is much less sexy than my uh, Lilith game. Last weekend. Aww. Oh no! Just let someone I mean... get injured. I will roll medicine and have it involve me ripping off my shirt. <laughs> I love it. So you can. So I got six. Oh, sorry, God. I can see into the future. <laughs> what did you say, Shannon? I feel like that needs to happen now. So I yeah. rolled four dice. I got uh, two successes out of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you push this door forcefully and you smack him right in the face with it because he was trying to come through the door as you were going the other direction. Mm -hmm. uh, and you definitely bloody his nose. Oh, I also have that thing where people are supposed to get out of my way as well. I don't Only know if you is. use it. It doesn't, it doesn't automatically happen. Oh, I'm using it. I mean, oh, I will. I'm I will going after you know, him. That is something that will probably also cause delirium because it's a, a supernatural. Oh, really? Power. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just say you down. need to be more careful. I'm sorry, darling. Yeah, the stare down is definitely something that would uh, make he's people. He's leaving. Very well, he's bleeding. Okay. Oh, he's bleeding. Okay. He's leaving, yeah. ain't he? Well, he just uh, came out to us. No, the mayor. I'm talking to him. Oh. Like, he's leaving, ain't he? Where is he? Oh, uh, I was mistaken. He's not actually in today. Well, I thought you were I'm saying he was leaving his wife, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he might be. I, I heard that they was having some trouble. Uh, I mean, I'm lying. Rumor, but... you lying, Blake. I had I'll two push it by Blake. Oh, no, that was that was one of the other clerks. What kind of argument you and the clerk get into back there? You know, gambling debts, the usual. I heard you got a lot of those, Blake. Yeah, Blake. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about either. Maybe the rest of the town won't know what I'm talking about. I know what Ooh. I'm talking about. Uh, why don't you give me, Eddie, an intimidation roll? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that, <laughs> I do have this for you guys. Can I, can I help can I her help? by standing oh. over him? Like Absolutely. You know? Yeah. At a, at a bonus day. Okay. And I'm just going to be doing my uh, thousand yard into the spirit world stare over his shoulder. <laughs> and through his soul. I will be using my like you inspiration guide as well. <laughs> oh, God. I broke three tens. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's the uh, second time so that in this group. That's Actually, I think it's the third. Oh. So if I rolled three tens and seven and a nine, that's one, two, three, four. That's seven successes. Right. Yep. Woo. Nah. He owes yeah. us his soul. 
uh, he absolutely is just like, no, please, please, I, I can't, I, I can't have everybody knowing how much I owe. Please, I'll do, I'll do just about anything. Like pay me back. Anything but that. <laughs> now, Lucky, I think we can think of something else that he can do for us. You see, maybe it's best if we don't actually meet with the mayor. Maybe we can just meet with you, Blake. Maybe you can help us mm-hmm. in this fine. About what? Well, it's a difficult situation. We're going to need access to some information, maybe some rumors, maybe some documents. Regarding that old mine collapse happened four years back. Well, I can, I can definitely give you some information. And uh, he says, if you'll come with me, I'll, I'll show you to the records room. Thank you, Camden. And leads you back and pulls all the files that he can on the old mines. And because he specifically pulls this information out, it's easier for you all to find this. You know, I won't make you roll because your intimidation was pretty good. He's, uh, he's pretty terrified. <laughs> and so he's not gonna fuck around and make you work for it. He's gonna show you and like find out. here's what you want. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he gives you the relevant information. Uh and you can see that the mine collapse shortly thereafter, uh there was something from the insurance company, oh. a significant windfall. But it wasn't in the mayor's name. It was in some other name that doesn't show up anywhere on the town records. What is this other name? Pray tell, what is it? (laughs) That is a good question. Uh, It (laughs) is Ashley Jones. I went to school with her. She was trouble. Can school. I uh, roll some uh, investigation to see if I can find an Ashley Jones anywhere else in downtown records, but other documents? Uh, I, I won't even, I mean, with that amazing intimidation, I think you all can still give a little bit of pressure and get more information out of him. Uh, and he just says, I. I have never met an Ashley Jones. I don't think this person exists. Where's the money go, Blake? How should I know? I'm not a banker. Don't you do his business? I'm just a clerk. They don't maybe you pay can, me for uh, all that. Maybe you can get us in contact with a banker or an insurance person on behalf of the mayor. You see, we're now kind of the mayoral squad. Maybe uh, you can get us a lead with whoever filed this paperwork on the bank's behalf. I can certainly send a telegram, but I don't know how long that'll take for them to get back to me. We'll, we'll come references. I'll have you do that for me, Blake. When's the next Absolutely. time the bank's in town? When do they come in and do the pickups and their drop-offs? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't keep track of that. You keep track of the mayor, don't you? Right, but he doesn't work for the bank. Got any appointments on his calendar that he's not showing up for, telling you about? Just sneaking off any little, you know secret blocks on his calendar that you want to tell us about right now? You know, while you get in front of it, you need this job, don't you, Blake? Uh, Well, I I don't know how bad I need it at this point. Uh, (laughs) I mean, I I don't ask a lot of questions, if I'm being honest. That's kind of what they pay me for, is to not ask a lot of questions. Ah. Well, that's interesting. Don't you think that's interesting, Addy? I think it might be a little bit interesting. Will you tell us next time the mayor is amenable to a meeting? Uh, I will certainly do my best. I know that you will. 
Um, can I roll uh, insight to see if there's anything else that we might be able to glean? Anything that he might be holding back from us? Sure. I want Absolutely. to check the desk. You don't mind if I look <laughs> around for a minute, do you, Blake? I mean, this is my, my personal desk. I, I would really appreciate if you didn't. No, I mean in there, Blake. Oh, I mean, you you have my word. Hand to God. I, I would not keep anything from y'all. There's nothing well, if we don't believe in God. That's, that's great. And I'm going to push the door open and I'm going to walk inside. And he just like side eyes Lucky. He's like, don't believe in God. Kind of. You know the sheriff's size. Um, I mean, I believe in God. Don't get me wrong. I just, well, one of us didn't, though. <laughs> As I walk in, I'm going to look over my shoulder back at Eve, like, come on, they got him. And I, I want to start searching this room in here while they're distracting. To, to Eve or to Addie? No, to Eve. Addie, Addie's out here. Charmin. Okay. Yeah, take Eve. Working her right. magic. Yeah. I'll go on back. Uh, were you still want to do your insight, Jay? Yeah, yeah. Like a... Uh, See if there's anything else. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, insight with. Um, let's do intelligence. Okay, love it. Three. Okay. Uh, I mean, you are pretty sure that he's telling the truth. That he's not withholding anything. He seems like he is scared shitless at this point, and is giving you everything that he can. Great. You good man. I walk past him into the back. Just lie to the man. <laughs> I just realized I have like a three in investigation. I should look around. <laughs> oh, lucky. Totally fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I mean, you can so, totally sneak out here while Eddie is uh, charming away. So I will definitely let you know, Sadie, that there's nothing else relevant that you can find as you're digging through. Okay. All right. I will slink back out. So subtly. How long are we going to hang out door? here? We're going to. Yeah, I just went back out yeah. like like I wasn't gone. <laughs> Like, what are we still doing here? Come on. That sounded very northern, North Atlantic. Yes, <laughs> very much so. I, that's what I'm channeling. I'm channeling my inner Boston to channel my rage. <laughs> Pop the wagon over I, I used to drive Wicked. through it all the time. So, yeah, I'm channeling it. Fantastic. Okay. I so, guess we'll leave poor Blake alone. Yeah, I was going to say, at this point, where would you all be headed? I kind of want to check the sheriff's house. That's what I was thinking, too. The He's sheriff's probably not home. My house. I'm not not the sheriff's house. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say. Sorry. The mayor's house. The mayor. We the mayor's the house. Stage. Yeah, yeah. The mayor's house. I kind of want to check it out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as I said earlier, it is a pretty small town. Basically, just two streets mm -hmm. uh, across each other. So you're able to get to the mayor's house pretty quickly. Uh, and you see that there is a wagon and it looks like it is in the midst of being packed. Hmm. You don't see the mayor currently, but just kind of the way that some things have been strewn about, it looks like somebody was in a hurry, maybe dropped th things on their way back and forth. Is there a spot that I can go lupus? Yeah, you can find a spot. I'm yeah, going to go Lopez mind. along the way. I don't mind going up there quiet, reconnoiter the situation. Same. Is there anyone yeah. there? I'll I mean, you would, yeah, you would definitely have to do a little bit more exploring to, to know if there was anybody there. You can definitely suspect, I think, that there's someone. Uh, so I know that Sadie is shifting. Is anyone else, or are you staying human? I'm staying human. Human. Okay. Cool. Uh, I will have all of you give me dex plus stealth. Okay. 
So I two, just add stealth, one die. Zero. I just have one die to stealth when it's for traversal, escape, or infiltration. Would infiltration be oh. Hundred percent. Yep. So for the record, I'm not trying to hide or do anything else. I'm just uh, oh. looking like a like a dirty. In fact, I'll probably roll in the dirt. I just want to look like a, a dirty stray as I'm kind of wandering roll. in. Yeah, just kind of wandering in. Um, okay. And I want to kind of poke around, uh, go like sides, back of yard, kind of, you know, I'm just, yeah. Okay. And going you know what? In to the house. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to help us out by beforehand. Uh, invoking the right of whisper passage, which creates a 10 meter <laughs> radius <laughs> around us where all natural noises are silenced. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, oh, I, I won't even need that stealth roll. Because that- Good, because I failed. Oh, oh. I, got like six. <laughs> I got like six on it. Well, I mean, can I break I away to... from the rest? Because I think yep. he typically hunts alone. As Absolutely. A... I'll yeah, I was gonna say, with your, with yeah, with your with your really good rolls, I'm not gonna make you wait that if you want to break off. And uh, and my purpose of what I'm doing for uh, going around is not so much, you know, the investigation stuff we'll do when we go in, but mine is more like just awareness, like what is going on out here? Am I seeing any activity somewhere else? Like this is kind of like ascertaining what's happening before we make any moves on anything. Yeah, Sadie, give me uh, wits plus awareness, please. And so, Eve, you make your way in separate from the others. Uh, where would you be headed? This is, we'll say, a two-story house, fairly large. Eve's pretty athletic, and she can abscond into a secured location so she'll probably traverse up to the second story to let herself in through a window perfect yeah there's a, a nice little trellis that you can climb up and making your way to the second floor you can definitely see shadows of someone moving addy unlucky where would you be looking Thinking we're going to go through the back door and kind of sneak through the lower level, kind of try to see how much stuff they're packing, what sort of trip might be being taken. Yeah. Uh, heading inside, you can hear because you are downstairs and whoever is in there is upstairs and it's a, you know, an older house. It is very noisy as they're like moving around. You can hear as they're opening drawers, things like that. It doesn't seem like a whole lot of stuff from the living area has been taken. Uh, you mostly see between the wagon and the inside and then kind of throughout the interior. It looks like, like clothes and daily type stuff that isn't super necessary uh, has been dropped. But you can also guess that maybe that's stuff that they'll grab on their way when they come back. I only had two success on my awareness. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can definitely, in your lupus form, smell a little bit more. Uh, and so you get a pretty good sense of they're really mostly just taking one route. And it is from the back door to the carriage, just back and forth. Uh, does it look like things are like tousled? Like, is this a robbery or is this like a hasty pack job? It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I mean, they look a lot alike. Mm -hmm. So without getting a good look at whoever is inside, you're not 100% sure. Uh, Eve, as you make your way in, though, uh, you might have seen the mayor. Uh, There's definitely a man and looks very official. You. I'm going to run up in my wolf form. I'm going to lupi lupine lupus. Um, I'm going to run up to that back door and just start barking like a dog. Like, yeah, just drawing attention to that back spot. Okay. 
I would like to. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I would like to see if there's any sort of like roll top desk or anywhere where documents might might be on the lower floor. Absolutely. Uh, give me wits awareness and okay. Lucky. Would you be helping with that? Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and take a bonus die then. Four. Four? Yeah, uh, there is definitely a bureau. And you find some documents, uh, and you do see some things addressed to Ashley Jones. I'm going to tuck them in my poncho. Absolutely. I can go through them later. But I'll try to take <laughs> everything that's addressed to that person. Absolutely. And Eve, what would you be doing? I'm going to head inside stealthily and see if I can get a better view of what's going on. Yeah, so uh, this well-dressed man is just absolutely taking every bit of clothes. Uh, you do see that there's a lot of money as well being packed away. Okay. Is there anyone else in here? You just see the one? Let's do it live. You go on somewhere in a hurry. And immediately they turn around and they are going to try and shoot at you. Ooh, rude. I mean, it happens. I mean, yes. <laughs> there is a home intruder here. <laughs> yeah. It's the Wild West. Does my, does my barking at the door have any effect on this? Uh, probably not except for maybe okay. making them a little bit more on edge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, Jay, if you want to give me uh, Dex and Athletics. I can do that. For your sake, I hope you roll well. <laughs> Four. Okay, yeah, not terrible. Uh, he had five successes out of mm -hmm. five. Uh, uh, I know, right? Oh, uh, it ain't no thing. Damn, there. Yeah, it's it's not going to be that big of a deal because you know, just death. Oh well, no, nah. no. Uh, in our in our other game, someone in uh, human form took a shotgun to the face, and it just made them go full frenzy. So it's fine. <laughs> oh, I forgot about frenzy. <laughs> yeah, it's totally fine. Um. And you are in your human form. So mm -hmm. that would be so two damage. That's how. Uh, and it's just superficial. Okay. Slash. Slash. All right. I'm gonna, uh, how does health tracking work as well? Yeah. So uh, I don't know how you can do it on the PDF because I don't think any of the PDFs. I'm drawing. So. Perfect. Uh, yeah. They of just course you are. <laughs> I they just say do, do a slash yeah a slash mm -hmm. for uh, superficial and an X for aggravated and then as far as like health levels I do not remember mm -hmm. how it works is it just like it builds up instead of like having a max versus I mean you should have a, a max which would be your stamina plus three ah yeah. yes that would be what I did not <laughs> Rosie I thought you said you were done I thought I forgot that <laughs> Oh, she you just got done. scolded. Snap. I did. She thought she was done. That's, that's I would the like to uh, kick the gun out of his hand. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm jumping through the door. As soon as I hear the gunshot, I'm I'm going to quick change and boom, right through the through the door and Ow. I will go uh uh There we go. I mean, I would think that I would go Krynos because it's a gunshot. Yeah. Uh, give me two so. range, please. So just 2d10. 2d10. All right, here we go. I got five to kick the gun out of his hand. Nice. Ooh, that's not good. A five and a one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You lose a point of rage, which is actually good for you right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you successfully 
are you kicking or are you smacking it out of his hand? Oh yeah, I can. You know what? I will kick. It'll be hilarious to see. You know, a five foot nothing. <laughs> Just kick it like a roundhouse kick. Now that ain't no way to treat a guest. You ain't no guest of mine. Yeah, this don't look like gonna be your house much longer. You going somewhere? It's none of your business. I'm just, I'm just growling behind him. And I mean, the rest of you would have absolutely heard this gunshot. It's it's pretty hard not. Okay. Then I think yeah. Lucky would come in and say, uh, "Well, actually, it's my business." Hmm. You yeah, may be the sheriff, the son, sheriff. But you're not the sheriff. No, but I do have a direct line to my my pa, and uh, he's not going to be too happy when I tell him what's going on here. I'm pretty sure it's in the town's bylaws that you can't just uh, ski-daddle right out of here without telling some people, without there being a re-election. Well, I also think it's against the laws of the territory to be breaking into a man's house like this. Well, I heard the gunshot and came in, so... Well, I'm the criminal in this activity. <laughs> I take full responsibility. Now, you say it ain't my business. It ain't their business. Is it Ashley Jones's business? I, I, I don't know who that is. Oh, I get a little closer. I get a little closer. Oh, then I guess you don't mind if I, I tear this document up then. What? Well, <sighs> What do you all want? Is this blackmail? Is this blackmail? Oh, it's silver mail. <laughs> that you wasn't as cool as you thought it was. I'm, I'm sorry. I just felt like I needed to tell you that. You know what? Let me roll my four charisma. We'll see how cool it was. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he looks very confused. He doesn't understand. You're so pretty, Addy. <laughs> 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 And this is the mayor. Yes, like absolutely. Lucky would 100% know that. I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's the mayor. I think that's the mayor. <laughs> Just uh, I, I, don't, I don't pay attention to local politics. It's <laughs> like 30 people. <laughs> right. And he just says, okay, I, I don't know what silver mail is, but what do y'all want? Yeah. Want to hear about that mine? It's collapsed. Well, I'm aware of that. But I want to hear a little bit more of the story of how it collapsed. I, I don't know. It's a mystery. I, it's been closed off. Nobody's been down there. I'm going to lean over fine. him and growl and drool on him as I'm growling. I mean, he's standing up. Yeah, so am I. I'm in whatever my giant, oh. giant werewolf form is. Oh, yeah. That's well. right. you did. Oh, I forgot. Well, you I forgot. went to Kranos. Uh, oh, I yeah, did. No, he's not. He, I forgot. You're in Kranos. He is fully screaming, trying to claw his way out the window. Uh, uh, no, he's I'm not. He's, grab not having, him. he's not having a conversation. Now, I'm hold. I'm just holding him. I want to just hold him. Now, oh. Sadie might have told you at some point that she is in possession of a partridge wing. The trick is, mm -hmm. uh, where is it when she's in Krynos? <laughs> yeah. Can I do a wits plus awareness to find it? Sure. Or right. wits plus a cult. <laughs> uh, let's do awareness. I feel like I probably wouldn't even have it. I would have... I would no, you have, have the it. privilege of having you it. Have it. You have it, please. You have it. I have. No, I mean, like, I would have given it to one of y'all. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, like, you wouldn't have been trusted to keep it. <laughs> yes. Like, I would have been like, I can't be trusted with this. Addy, you take it or something, you know? <laughs> well, I did get three successes. Okay. Uh, you know, I think with three successes, you're like, Mm, I know Sadie had a partridge wing. Where is it? And you're like patting yourself down and you realize it's been in your back pocket. Yeah, that's perfect. 
off of, on the Krynos head. Or give I mean, step ladder to. <laughs> I'll uh, bend you, down. Yeah, I think you would know with your your occult occult knowledge. Uh, if you give it to him, he oh, would yeah. recover from the delirium. I'll put in his little. Oh, quit your yeah. hollowing. And he is just on the floor. Uh, clearly has like pissed and shit himself. Is crying, and is like, "What the hell is that thing?" That's my friend. Be nice. Now you're gonna tell I... me. You're gonna tell me the truth, or you're gonna tell her a lie. I drool a little more. What truth? What, what do you want? Tell me everything about that mine. Fine. Okay. I I paid someone. There weren't supposed to be any people in there. I I didn't want anyone to get hurt. I just wanted the insurance money. So why were there so many people there? Did you ever look into it? I I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I don't know if maybe they just didn't get the message. It's unfortunate, but you know, sometimes you gotta break some eggs, right? Yeah. Sometimes you gotta break some eggs. Who'd you pay? They don't live here anymore. They took the money and moved on. That's okay. We can find them. Give me the name. And he says, it's it's in all the paperwork there. I don't I don't even remember. And Addy, the paperwork that you have, uh, you would be able to find the name. You believe in ghosts, man? I mean, I wouldn't say I do, but been hearing all kinds of strange stories. Do you want to see a ghost, man? I don't rightly think I do, especially not uh, after seeing your friend there. They I think I've had my you. fill of. I think I've had my fill of the spooky. I growl again. <laughs> you know, you can make reparations, helping us out, finding a good conclusion for those poor lost souls. How? What could I do? Addy, why don't you read through the papers, see what you can see. Maybe the mayor can use some of his windfall to help us get what we need. That sounds like a play. And, Addie, because you had the most communication with these spirits, it seems like more than anything, I think they would be concerned for their families, you know, the people who were left behind. Uh, but if you were to ask Lucky, most of the Myers families didn't stick around. So, you know, you would be able to eventually potentially track them down. Uh, and give them any kind of reparations. But at this point, mostly they just want vengeance. Well, Mr. Mayor, we're going to take our payment in deed and in con today. And uh, you're also not going to tell anyone about all this or else we'll be back. <laughs> and you don't want that. What do, you, what do you want me to do then? So I'm going to look through the documents and uh, see what I can see. Okay. I mean, what in particular are you looking for? So I guess I'm looking for like a... I guess is, if there's like any fronts or companies that like I have seen or heard of in my travels or anything like that. Okay. Maybe you should hand it over to Lucky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let <laughs> yeah. me hand this over to Lucky. He's real investigatory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Lucky, he's a me, read. Uh, give me intelligence. Yeah, he can read. <laughs> give he me intelligence. Investigation. Please. There's so much point in it. <laughs> so that's I'll put him four to intelligence me. and three investigation. Fantastic. Nice. Nice. Um, to, okay. So do any of these need to be rage dice? Does that matter? 
Uh, yeah, they would be rage dice. Oh, uh, you're at two, I believe. Uh, one. Three, I think. Mm. Oh, that's right. You three. Went oh, did we did we regain? You howled thought... after you lost that one. Okay, so I've got two. So yeah. two should be rage dice. Yes. And the rest are rolls. Okay. Let's. Okay, hold on. Four and three. Ooh. Okay. So that is three successes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, rifling through these papers, you find several mentions, uh, not of like owning another company, but of payments to another company, specifically premium oil and a man named Jeremiah Lassiter. And Jay knows exactly what I'm referencing. <laughs> but Eve does not, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the audience at home, uh, that's where Pentex came from. The evil corporation that started as Premium Oil back in 1865. Hey. Best antagonist in any TTRPG ever. Yeah. No morally gray, just yeah. bad. Yeah, well, and, and by the modern knights, uh, it's not just big oil, it's big everything. Like, technology. Toys. Yeah. Makeup. Toys. Pharmaceuticals. Oh. Yeah, everything. Everything. Otalis. This is a whole other game we need to play. Crocs. That's, that's modern werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> and our, that's what... Uh, children... <laughs> yeah, tomorrow that's what my Garo are gonna be hunting down is Pentex yeah. in Detroit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that was not my choice. I was like, okay, well, where do we where do we want to set this? Whenever we started uh, back in October, and we were talking about it, and they're like, yeah, let's do Detroit. That's <laughs> okay, a good cool. Werewolf City. That's it really, really is. good one. It Holy really moly. is. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, their uh, their cairn to, to go on a tangent uh, is inside of the old Packard building, so it's just like this several acre old car plant, and they That's have cool. established so a cairn cool. there, and they all kind of like live in there secretly. So yeah, cool. it's a lot of fun. So I'm excited to get back to that tomorrow, yeah. but tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you all probably girl. don't know a lot about premium oil. At this point, it, it's been 20 years since its founding. Uh, you might have heard of it, but at this point, it's not evil yet. Kind of, because uh, greed. But, you know, it's not <laughs> actively... It's human evil. Yeah, yeah, it's not actively, like, worm... Superficial evil, evil not aggravated evil. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That is a perfect analogy. <laughs> So, yeah, it, it is just the very human greed kind of evil. So you may have heard of uh, other people like Rockefellers getting rich from oil. Uh, but beyond that, you probably wouldn't have heard much about it. You got a contact with these fellas, Mr. Mayor? Uh, I mean, here and there. More, uh, you know, stocks and investments. So where do they do business out here? Oh, where don't they do business? Oil, they keep finding it in the, the strangest of places. Such as? Well, all over out here in the West. It's a rich, rich land west of the Mississippi. So we find oil, we probably find that. Yeah, uh, you could definitely bet on that. These bastards sucking the lifeblood out of this earth. I guess you could put it that way. Sadie, can you watch the mayor? I want to have a word with her 
Lucky and Addie. I just hold them and growl and drool. <laughs> I want to get out of earshot. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mabel? I think uh, we have two things that we need to do. Hmm. One ain't going to sound super palatable and probably uh, end up with us on the wrong side of the law. The other one is going to be very palatable and definitely put us on the wrong side of the law. Well, you got to take this man down to the cave, walk him on to the other side, and let uh, nature take its course. I think that will appease a little bit of the anguish of those spirits. Give us enough time to go find these uh, oil barons and make right. What you think? That sits right with my soul. I feel like it's pretty easy to cover up. Looks like he's moving. We've got these documents. Uh, we make sure no one sees us take him down there, and no one's going to be the wiser. We I ain't going to tell my pa. As like a paper trail. It's a beautiful thing, I think. All right, I'll go trust him. All right. So you're tying him up and throwing him mm -hmm. in the wagon? Yep. Can I Who knock him be... out? Oh, absolutely. Easily. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think just <laughs> from fear you could knock him out. <laughs> I just, no, I imagine you, that you switch back to lupus at this point. It's just like a dog paw going like that really hard. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> dog <paw> yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Or even just like a headbutt. <laughs> I switch, I transform right in front of him. I transfer back to a corgi and <laughs> a little and fuzzy but hard nose. head. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, who would be driving the wagon? Oh, I have I have two in drive. Yes. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> we are lucky to have you. I'm going to ride in the back and keep an eye out. I'll ride in the Absolutely. front to schmooze. Yeah, that's anything. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> So playing the fiddle. I'm watching him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you all are able to take this wagon back out to the mines. Jay, I mean, Eve would definitely know it's going to be a little bit tricky taking a human into the Umbra. It's not mm -hmm. typically done. Uh, I think it could be accomplished. It'll just be a little bit trickier. Could I, in my uh crinos form move these rocks does that help so, us in any way yes but i think especially those of you who have some dots and intelligence would know with a collapse like this it's risky because okay. it may just trigger more collapse i got three intelligence so yeah probably, four. and two in survival so i would assume yeah even uh, lucky same. for sure. Four would. intelligence, two survival. Nice. Yeah. Even lucky would probably discourage you from that. Yeah. <laughs> even lucky. That'd be a wild oh, scene, even, but I'm not sure. But yeah. Oh, even lucky. I was going to say, <laughs> even lucky. Oh, I, I heard even lucky. Too. I also heard even lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's both. Eve and lucky and even lucky. Sadie, that may not behoove <laughs> us to do. That's okay. You're gonna be tough, but guy protects. So I have a thing that says chill or unbalance enemies. Can I uh -huh. utilize that to chill him out for this transport in? I don't think that would help here, especially if he's unconscious. I mean, I think he'll be all right. I think he's pretty chill. Okay. He's, he's pretty chill. He's chill. Yeah. I didn't know he was chill like that. <laughs> Only yeah. when he's unconscious. Okay. Here we go. Do, wait. Do I still? Oh, I still have my inspiration die, don't I? You do, yeah, you I believe you so. do. Ooh. Nice. Four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with four, I think you're still gonna take one more aggravated willpower damage but 
you are able to take him across into the Umbra. And I think as you are starting to drag him through this uh, slimy mouth entrance, uh, he starts to awaken. Oh, and absolutely is just, you can tell he wants to freak out, but the partridge wing is keeping him just calm enough that he's not absolutely losing every bit of sanity he has. Shh, 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 quiet. It's all right. It's going to be all right. Don't be worried, none. Don't be worried. I'm just picturing Sadie, like, still in Krynos, but doing, like, the dog <laughs> thing, like, the back of the neck. Oh. <laughs> and don't forget, I have one in manipulation, zero in subterfuge, so you see me go. <laughs> now, Mr. Mayor, when we get to where we're going, you're going to want to be apologizing, and you're going to want to be restitutionalizing yourself. And just be careful what you say down there. Spare smile. So, he doesn't really say anything, he just cries. And I had that reaction I too. And as you all drag him down to this vortex, it immediately triggers a response in these spirits. You see that they are aware of who you have brought and they start to break away. You know, it's like whenever a tornado starts to break up. But instead of dissipating, they start to lunge at him. Would you all be like holding on to him still? Would you let him go? Would you step out of the way? I would push or, him in. Yeah. Yeah. I just kick him in. So you kick him, and you can see that they start to pass through him. And it doesn't seem like they do a lot, particularly, but as these spirits just continually are making this vortex through and inside of him. It absolutely, like, X-Men, whenever they disintegrate Professor X, uh, I think that's the second one, or third one, uh, it's just, like, piece by piece starts to tear him apart. And um, this, oh, I was going to say, as, as they have disintegrated his body, the spirits start to slowly dissipate. And just one lone reminder one lone miner remains and looks to Addy and says thank you before they also pass on I think the memory gonna... to wait like to write like a wicked song about afterwards a wicked That's song a wicked song <laughs> wicked wicked aus, aus, I can't do it wicked, wicked, wicked awesome, awesome song. wicked awesome Let's and I'm gonna switch it. to Let's get out of here. I'm, I'm gonna switch to lupus from my crinos and I'm just gonna howl, just wail, wail, howl I'll with join them, too. like just to, to honor the dead. Yeah, me as well. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's a werewolf game whenever the players are actually howling. Oh, oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> How could we not howl? I know. <laughs> so from here you all would be able to track down premium oil. Unfortunately, they have expanded pretty significantly in the last 20 years, and they are not going down without a fight. But you all were able to help these miners who were killed for the paycheck to move on with their afterlife, uh, to be at peace. And I think that's where we're going to end as we have completed our... Oh, man. Oh, man. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a, a fantastic shot. Um... I'm very happy to have oh, had you. It... it was a major minor. Major, <laughs> major minor. Oh, my God. Amazing. Groan. Come on, everybody groan and howl. Oh, oh. <laughs> I will put oh, a right of morning for that <laughs> <laughs> D-O-A I'll allow it, I'll allow it. Uh, <laughs> Why don't we go around real quick And uh, just say where You can find all of us And uh, then we'll head out So uh, I think 
Shannon, you want to start us off? Sure. Um, so I am Shannon. I am Imagine If. I am a G I N I F in most places. Um, you can find all my links at imagineif.shop. And I um, also have a Twitch channel, Imagine If Media. And we're using that channel to, uh, to do and highlight all of those who create, play, and heal. So if you are someone who does any of those things, uh, and you'd like to be on, we've got a creator spotlight that happens on Tuesday nights. And especially if you're an independent creator, we'd love to have you on and talk about it and let people know what you're doing and just kind of spread the love. So yeah, that's me. Fantastic. Uh, who do you want to go next? I'm going to throw it to Lucky Lemon this time. All right. Oh, hey, I'm Mika. I do things. Uh, <laughs> you can find... Uh, you can find me, uh, go to my threads. It's where you'll find like my, my link to my link tree and stuff. See me threading it up with stupid things. Uh, <laughs> so that's threads.com backslash Mika underscore Macintosh, uh, M-I-K-A underscore M-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. And uh, yeah, see what I'm up to. All right. Who are you going to throw it to? It's Addy. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm Rosie. I also go by Dolly Pop online. I'm an illustrator, um, and you can find me at, at dollypop.art, pretty much just Instagram and threads. That's all I have the capacity to do. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and yeah, Patreon. So, oh, yeah, and Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Dolly Pop. And that's Dolly with an I. <laughs> and that's Dolly with yeah. an I. D-O-L-I-P-O-P. It's, it's in the chat. A -R -T. Yeah, oh. it's in the chat. Just check the chat. <laughs> and I'll pass it to my wonderful husband. Hey, Jay here. So I'm also on threads at Find Me On Light. Um, I've just started into the realm of creating role-playing games myself. So I'm also doing Laughing Lark Games at itch.io. Um, expect to see a lot more come out from uh, there. Um, and also I rep along with pretty much, yeah, everyone in here, the TTRPG Collective, a great place to yeah. meet fellow yeah. enthusiasts, creators, artists, every single spectrum of gamer you can find. Everybody there. Game Jam right now. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Two of them, I think. Yes. Yeah. Like so many yeah. game jams. So it's a great yeah. place to, you know, connect with other fellow lovers of the game. And yeah, yeah. Um, that's how I've a geek all paradise. These. Yes, yeah, yeah, it really is. Here. Yeah. That's how this game came together. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm Rick. So as I mentioned before, I'm the game master for this channel, for Hammer of the Gods, uh, which is also a podcast. You can find us wherever you get your podcasts, on YouTube, uh, pretty much anywhere that's at HamPod. That's me. I, I do all the stuff. Uh, you can also find me in most places where uh, you find Even Footing Games, because we make a fantastic game called Babies and Broadswords. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, not forget to put the thing in the chat again. Uh, <laughs> go check out our Kickstarter that is going live soon. Uh, other than that, that's kind of that's kind of me. I'm just here. I do stuff. Round of applause for Rick. Woo! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy say. keeping a handle on this chaos. <laughs> you know, it it could be a lot worse. I've I've got a lot of play. <laughs> That's the tagline. It could be a lot it worse. Could be a lot worse. Yes, we appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you so that much. We are. I appreciate all of you, and I'm really happy that I got to actually run a game with all of you in it. Yeah. So, and I mean, I I've said it a million times. I will say it again. I love introducing people to werewolf, and you know, Jane Rosie, it's not new to you, <laughs> but, but this version I love is new. To play. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.